you see that 95 green balls are removed, but the yellow did not change, right? So the question type for this will be one item unchanged. Right? And for this one item unchanged, it will be your yellow, right? Yellow ball. Okay, so you can have your two colors, right? So your green and yellow, and your before, change, and after. Right, of course you have your total. Okay, so your total, right? If you see percentage, um, you can possibly use 100 units to represent your total, right? So you let your 100 units be your total. So if you have a total 100 units, 70% are green, right? So it means that 70 units must be green and the rest are yellow, which is 30 units. Okay, so your change later on is 95 green balls were removed, right? So you remove 95 and you also know that there is no change in your yellow, right? So your yellow must be zero. Okay, so after that, right, the ratio will be 3 is to 2. And the thing is, that one unit before cannot be the same as the one unit after, right? So you need to make your number of units of yellow the same. Right, so in order to do that, you need to have the same 30 units here, right? So you, to get 30 units, you need to multiply by 15. And if you do that to yellow, you must do that to green as well, so that you maintain the ratio of 3 is to 2. Right, so you get 45 units. Okay, so once you do that, then you can find one unit, right? Your 95, or mix up your 95. Okay, so from here, your green before. Minus your green after. Must be equals to 95 balls. Right? So your green before must be 70 units. The green after must be 45 units. Right, so after that, you just need to find your one unit, which is a mixed number in this case, by the way. Okay, and then after that, you just need to find your green before, which is 70 units, and then you get your final answer. Okay, so with that, uh, yeah, that's all you need to solve question one. You get that your 25 units is equal to 95 balls, right? So one unit must be 3.8 or 3 and 4 fifths. Both. Right, so you just need to find what is 70 units and then you get your answer. Okay. Okay, so we're going to question two. Right, the ratio of the volume of A to B after 50 ml was put from A to B, right? So the hint is your second sentence. 50 ml was put from jug A to jug B means that your total is unchanged. Right, because you're only pouring from one jug to the other. But the total amount of water that both jugs have will remain the same. Right, so for this is a total unchanged question. Okay, so you have A, jug A and jug B. And total. Okay, so the ratio for A to B is A is to 3, right? So 50 ml was poured from jug A to jug B. So you minus 50 ml. And you plus 50 ml here. Okay, so once you have that, right, then you know that jug A had twice the amount of water as jug B. So 2 is to 1. Okay, at this point, right, it's also important to note that one unit before is not the same as one unit after. Okay, so because it's not the same, you have to use units for one and part for the other for now. Okay, so you, I just let the before be units and the after be parts. Right, and then your total will be 11 units here and 3 parts. And the thing is your total is 0 change. Right, so your 11 and 3 must be made the same. Okay, so from here you need your LCM, right? LCM of 3 and 11. Okay, so what is the LCM of 3 and 11 that I can use? 33. Yes, very good, 33. So you make 33 units and 33 units. Okay, so for before, right, 
from 11 to 33, I need to times 3, right? So I just need to times 3 to all the other ratios. Right, so I get 24 units and 9 units. Okay, and for my after, from 3 to 33, I need to times 11, right? So I just times 11 to the ratio for A to B. So I get 22 units and 11 units. Okay, so now everything in the bottom, all the units is correct, right? Because I have 33 units before and 33 units after. So now my number of units is correct. Okay, so the next thing to take note is your change, right? So you start with 24 units and you end up with 22 units, right? So this 50 ml has to represent your loss of two units. Okay, so go on to try on your own, right? Find out what is the value of one unit, right? And then your next goal is to find your jump B in the end. Right, so jump B in the end is just 11 units. And you get your final answer. Okay, so with that, um, you'll be done for question two.